Yeah, you better not eyeball me, boy. So how were your accommodations last night? Just like your mama used to do you? You did his mama, didn't you? Twice. passageway from his office to this execution chamber to witness the putting to death of a criminal. 120 men and four women were electrocuted in that chair before it was retired. Beautiful, isn't it? When I came to Gateway, it was falling apart, so I had it restored, put back into perfect working order to remind me of how things ought to be. It's nearly five years since you escaped from Treadmoor, Frank. Time flies when you're having fun. In all the years that I was warden there, you're the only man that ever made it over my wall. Well, so I read in the papers. Yes, of course you did. You and your lawyer saw to it that everything made it into the papers, didn't you? The media, yeah, distorting the truth, distorting the facts, making a criminal into a hero and a warden into a criminal. You took my future away from me. You and those bleeding heart politicians, they sent you to Norwood. That's a country club. I ended up here in Gateway, the worst shithole in the system. You don't remember, do you? I asked you. Now, I, I begged you, John Gould. Do you remember that? I had two weeks to go before I was released. And all I asked for is one hour, one hour to visit with that old man before he died. Do you remember that? I was doing my job. There's a lot of ways to do your job. I mean, you could have given me a, an escorted leave. You could have had armed guards. You could have done that for me. You broke the law. You broke the law, and I was punished. And I got five goddamn years, and I paid my debt. To the state, not to me. But you're going to. All I know is I've only got six months left on my sentence. In Gateway, six months could be a lifetime. Anything could happen. This is hard time, Frank. You have no rights here unless I give them to you. You feel no pleasure unless I tell you you can. This is hell. And I'm going to give you the guided tour. 